Hello everybody, today I'm going to show you how to jailbreak any iPod device from Apple. This includes the iPod Touch 1st generation, iPod Touch 2nd generation, iPod Touch 3rd generation, uh, iPhone 2G, 3G, and 3GS. This will work on the 3GS and the 3G from what I have done. Uh, other notes to take into consideration, this is not an unlock video, so if you were looking to unlock your iPhone, then uh, you're going to have to look somewhere else because this is not an unlock video. So, alright, to start off, uh, all you're going to do is you're going to go into Servari or whatever with browser you have. Go to Google or whatever uh, search, in you, search engine that you use. Just simply type in Black Rain. And what should come up is the black weather, it should say, and it should say black rain and blackrain.com. Click on that, and you're going to see this picture of this kid and some floating iPhones and this uh, strange looking Apple icon up in the front. It's going to scroll down, and you're going to see a Windows icon and an Apple icon. If you have a Mac, you're just going to download, uh, you're going to click on the Mac, and if you have a Windows, download it for Windows. Pretty simple. Since I have a Mac, I'm going to download it for Mac. Simply open it up open and this is all it says that is the application alright so once you got uh, your iPod touch on 3.1.2 uh, and it is restored you always want to restore every time you try to jailbreak it or re jailbreak it um, just plug it into your computer and we're gonna move on to here and we're just gonna click it says make it rain one button just click it and it will make it jailbroken So, uh, by the way, uh, this is cracked. It's not the one that I'm giving away in the giveaway, if you haven't seen that already. This is just another iPod that I had around. So when you jailbreak it, you will see, like, this, the kid's face that you saw from the, from the website. And now your iPod Touch is restarting. Alright, so, uh, once you've gotten, uh, once it's done jailbreaking, you'll see that you'll get this little icon or application called Black Rain. I'm just going to simply open that up. And you're going to see two things. You're going to see Cydia and Rock. Those two are two different uh, uh, third-party applications. All you're going to do is going to hit Cydia, and you're going to hit Install. Now, I already installed it, so uh, I'm just going to uh, ignore this process, but that's what you're going to do. Now, you can install both at the same time, but there has been problems where uh, if you try to download both of them at the same time, it does have an issue. So all you're going to do is you're just going to go singly by both. Now these are both, uh, they are both uh, third-party application or third-party app stores, kind of like uh, the app store for uh, for Apple, but not nearly as enough applications. But you definitely do get a lot of the stuff that you wish you could have got gotten without jailbreaking. So. So that's what you see here. You can see Cydia and you can see Rock. Cydia has got most of the applications that you want. It's the main uh, third-party app store. It's got like the thing that gives you backgrounds. It's got tons of themes. And when you when this comes up, you're going to hit Complete Upgrade. But I don't know if I want to do that just yet. But that's what you're going to want to do. And the next thing is we have Rock. And Rock is just another app store. It's got some pretty cool stuff. It's got like basically, uh, it's got a lot of the stuff that Cydia doesn't, but they both have a lot in common. Uh, really big thing about Rock is that Rock is way faster than Cydia. Cydia takes forever for uh, for it to load up uh, eventually. Whenever you go through all the upgrading and downloading a lot of stuff, and this one also goes sideways. So another big. Uh, Big advantage for rock. for rock. Rock doesn't nearly have enough stuff as stuff as Cydia does, or so I know. I'm not sure, but all I know is that I I usually use Cydia a lot, and then I uh, I usually come back here and check out what a rock's got to. So it's definitely good to download both of them. So uh, these uh, this is how you jailbreak your iPod Touch. Here's the big question that I get a lot about this: is that is it illegal? For an iPod Touch, it is completely legal. And why do I say this is that there is a uh, 
there's an uh, what is it? There's an amendment that's uh, I can't remember which one it is, but there's an amendment that says that uh, since you own the product and you own it, like you completely purchased it, there is no nobody else that can tell you what to do with it. So you are free to do whatever you want with it. So it is completely free, to, or it is um, it is completely uh, legal to jailbreak it, on, jailbreak it on an iPod Touch. Now for an iPhone, some consider it illegal, or at least Apple does. Uh, well, Apple they think it's Ill illegal for an iPod Touch, but it's not for an iPod Touch. But for an iPhone, when you purchase and when you activate your iPhone, you agree to a uh, a software license that says that. Uh, it says that you can't change the software that's on the iPhone. And basically, when you jailbreak that, that changes the software. Uh, I did see on another video where someone actually, uh, they called call Apple about it, and they said that it is illegal for that reason, but they will not prosecute. So I, there's a lot of people that jailbreak their iPhones, and I don't think it's a really big deal. So uh, if you want to jailbreak your iPhone, go ahead and do it. I mean, the... That, the benefits completely weigh out the consequences. Yeah, your iPhone, your iPod may go a little bit slower, but you just get so much more with it, and it's just so much better. So I definitely recommend that you jailbreak it, even if you have an iPhone. I might get one soon, and I'm definitely jailbreaking it, even if it is illegal. But I'm sure it's, I can assure you that it's not, it's not legal for the iPod Touch. So uh, yeah, I hope you liked this review. If you did, or I hope you liked this tutorial. If you did, please subscribe and update and go to my Twitter for, uh, you know, I don't really do a lot of giveaway, like, uh, giveaway updates on my YouTube channel. So uh, just go to my uh, Twitter and I will update there. And that's really, like, if you, for, that's for the people that usually use Twitter. So if you like it, please go subscribe and follow me on Twitter. Thanks.